Our story takes us to Gilbert, Arizona. Rene Chavez, 18 years of age. He's walking to church like he's done every Sunday for the past five years. A committed Christian with a vision to reach the community for Christ. But it hasn't always been that way. It was an ordinary day, June the 11th, 2009. Rene, age 14, was on his bike riding to a local store when he was hit by a car. The driver distracted by her cell phone. Renee's father, Richard, remembers this day. And uh, there he laid in the middle of the street, unconscious. Uh, the vehicle was off to the side next to him, uh, all smashed up the windshield, her front bumper. Uh, a fracture, 10 inch fracture from the back of his head to the left of his left side temple and uh, brain swelling. And like I said, it was just the worst, worst day of my life. Um, I was put into a induced coma for 30 days and I was in the ICU for 45 days. I, um, for about the first 21 days, I was com just completely non-responsive. They said it, it was going to take uh, at least a year for him to, to ever walk, talk, do anything, if he even did it. The following week seemed like months to the Chavez family. Doctors were beginning to give up any hope of Renee's recovery. When one day, something amazing happened. Renee was across the room sitting on the, on the, the physical therapy table. They would ask him, where's your dad at? And he, could, he couldn't hold his head up. He was like a newborn baby. He couldn't hold his head, the weight of his head up. And every single time they asked him, where's your dad at? He would lift his head up and look straight at me across the room in the corner. When I woke up, I uh, had to take my first step by myself. Um, it, it wasn't even like a full stride. It was, I just lifted up my foot and placed it in front of uh, by myself. And that, that just, that, that, that surprised my doctor. He, he himself said that uh, as bad as that serious as my injury was, even with just a minor injury, it at least takes a year for someone to take their first step by themselves. And it was from that day forth, now looking back, now what God revealed to me, that's when God's healing hand came down on my son Renee and, and woke him up out of his, his darkness or wherever he was at. And uh, from that day forth, Renee spoke, he could spell, he could see, he could respond, um, he could move his body. Even though Rene began a miraculous recovery, troubles were waiting. Richard separated from Rene's stepmother soon after the accident, leaving Rene feeling like he was the cause of many of the problems facing the family. About a year after the accident, Rene's older sister told him of Christ and how she had accepted him. He was ready. So I put my hands together, not knowing how to pray. Just, so, hey God, how, how are you doing up there? And um, he, uh, you no, know, within not even a minute later, I ended up saying it with meaning, with all my heart. God, will you forgive me? And he came to me that night himself. He brought his presence on me, and I fell to my knees at complete surrender, crying harder than I've ever cried before. So Rene would just show up here. He was walking here from his house, uh, sometimes two, three miles away, depending on where he was living at the time. And every event that we had at the church, Rene would show up. Even if uh, we were having a conference during the week and he was supposed to be in school, Rene was here instead of at school. Rene found a Christian church just a few miles away and began attending every Sunday. It wasn't long before Rene invited his younger brother, Gabe, to the youth group on Wednesday evenings. Well, Renee invited me to the youth group, and um, it was really fun because I just found that there was a lot of regular kids like me just learning about God, and it was fun because I got to learn about Him, and I made a lot of new friends along the way. So yeah, youth was really cool. He would leave post-it notes on my on my bathroom mirror with with verses from the Bible on it for me to read. He would send me texts on my phone um, for me to read off my phone. Renee and Gabe continued to pray 
and encouraged their troubled father to accept Christ. Finally, after four years, Richard came to a Sunday morning service. Uh, there was a woman in the church. To this day, I don't know who she was. I've been trying to find who she was. Started to speak in the Holy Spirit, just out of the blue, in the middle of church service. And it was, it was God speaking to me. He was speaking to me. And I just started crying uncontrollably. And in the very end of what she was saying, she said, I love you. I gave my life back to Christ. And ever since, um, I've just been running towards him, hanging on so tight now. And, uh, um, you know, I've been delivered from the land of Egypt. Today, Richard is helping distribute food to the needy at the church's food bank. Gabe and Renee can be found witnessing and praying for those they meet out on the street of life. Every Sunday, you'll find Richard, Renee, and Gabe enjoying the fellowship and worship services at the Vineyard Community Church in Gilbert, Arizona. Uh, my son Renee, he's 18, and he loves Jesus so much. And I tell people all the time, I want to be like him when I grow up. The Chavez family, grateful for the miracle of healing and God's gift of eternal life.